Hello, my name is Brian Casey. I'm editor-in-chief of AntMini.com, and we're here at the 2016 edition of the RSNA meeting in Chicago. We have with us right now Dr. Holly Jumper. She is a uh, radiologist at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences in Little Rock. Uh, Dr. Uh, Jumper gave a paper yesterday uh, here at RSNA on the issue of uh, how many women are choosing to become radiologists and so it's been a, a pretty major issue in the field lately and Dr. Jumper is going to talk about her uh, presentation and what she discovered. Uh, Dr. Jumper, thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me. So our question was the numbers in um, of women in medicine are rising. This year is a 10-year high per the uh, Association of, of American Medical Colleges. It's up 6.2 percent but we're not seeing that trend in radiology and we were curious as to why women aren't choosing the field of radiology. So myself along with my team, my mentors Dr. Rupa Ram and Dr. Philip Kinney, we requested data from the American Association of American Medical Colleges. Um, it is from the graduate questionnaire that all fourth year medical students complete. Uh, the data we uh, obtained was approximately 80% of all graduating medical students from 2011 to 2016. We focused solely on the career plan section within the uh, survey and we looked at 31 specialty choices and 11 influencing factors um, that come into play when women are choosing a specialty, not just women, we looked at men as well. Um, so when we looked at the career plan, the influencing factors uh, were rated as uh, no influence to strong influence as to why you would choose a career specialty. As we did that, uh, we did just a direct comparison of the data. We saw that um, radiology is not uh, ranked within the top 10 choices for females in um, medicine. It's ranked number 11th. We only have 3% of all graduating female medical students entering the field of radiology, which is unbelievable to me. It's a fantastic field. It was the best decision I've made for myself. Um, so we were curious as to why. We looked at the influencing factors, the t statistically significant factors for why women did choose radiology were uh, salary, future family plans, um, work-life balance, competitiveness of specialty. Those were highly ranked as very strong influencers as to why people do choose radiology, uh, why women choose radiology. Length of residency was also ranked as an influential factor, as uh, uh, not as an influential factor. It was less on the list. So once we took a look at these, um, uh, that was women versus women uh, choosing other specialties, women in radiology versus other specialties. Then we looked at women in radiology versus men in radiology. The only statistically significant difference was uh, influence of the mentor. Women state that 47 uh, uh, percent uh, said their mentor was 47 percent of a huge influencing factor when choosing radiology. Men was only 37 percent. Uh, so we looked at that over time, and this is, it's a constant gender disparity um, from the two sets of data we looked at, 2011 to 2013, 2014 to 2016, and women always say that mentors are more influential than men. This was a very uh, take-home point in our project, especially with women not entering radiology. We're trying to figure out what we can do to bring women into the field, and that gives us a great opportunity as women in the field. Um, mentorship is vital to bring people into the field of radiology. We have to um, inc increase the exposure to medical students. They have to know how wonderful our field is so we can increase the numbers. Do you think that, uh, it, it, it sounds like there's a little bit of a burden here on fe female radiology, fe women who are radiologists now to kind of reach out and maybe um, do, do a little more than a, a comparable men might do to, 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 to bring more women into the field? Do you think that's the case? I do think so. Uh, from personal experience, when I chose radiology, I did not have a mentor in the field. I did not have much exposure to radiology. I chose very last minute in my fourth year of medical school just off a few radiology lectures that we had had throughout my first three years. And, and what were some of the things about radiology that you were attracted to? I. Um, Radiology is a great field for multiple reasons, but I was initially attracted to radiology. As most people say, I really enjoyed the anatomy of it. Um, I liked that it's integrated into every field of medicine. Everything I rotated through, radiology was involved. I really liked that aspect. Um, 
So that's what initially drew me to radiology, but I did not know what the day-to-day -day life was for a radiologist. So I made my decision to do radiology. I scheduled a rotation in radiology as I was applying to the field of radiology, really hoping that I was going to like it. As I did the rotation, I was sold. I saw that it was not just a stagnant field in a dark room with no interaction with patients or other colleagues. It's very interactive. It's technically advanced. Um, it's integrated into every specialty. Uh, perfect choice for me and I would think for more females as well. Okay. Now did your paper make any recommendations about what can be done to draw more women into the field? The paper is ongoing so we haven't made recommendations yet but um, I, I do have a few things that I think can be done. At my home institution just this year we've created a third year radio re radiology clerkship. It's for medical students um, in their third year as they're rotating through all of their core rotations. It gives them an earlier experience as into radiology when they're making that career decision. It's important that they have exposure when they're making their decision as opposed to in their fourth year after the decision's already been made. So we've recently started that and I'm hoping that will help um, boost uh, the perception of what radiology is at our home institution. We're also starting some uh, more mentorship uh, within our home institution. During this clerkship, we have the residents have a lecture series that we do for them. We do face-to-face -face time in the reading room. We also are involved in small groups that are um, integrated into the medical school curriculum. I'm, I'm hoping that these changes, I think they're positive strides and I think we will, we can see a difference from these. Do you have any recommendations that you would make to uh, radiology program directors for how they can make their field more attractive to female medical students? I think that it is our job within the radiology department, program directors, residents, staff, I think we just have to make it as welcoming as an environment as we can for medical students. It can be very intimidating to walk into a dark room, not know anyone. We have to make it very open. We have to make it very engaging. Um, we have to show them why we chose radiology, why we come to work on a daily basis, and why we love our jobs. Um, I, I think that's the most important thing, and we have to get them involved. Uh, things like this, RSNA, research projects, if we get them involved, they're more likely to stick. And I think uh, we, women and me men in radiology, have to be able to step up and become mentors to the medical students so they know that we love what we do. Great, some great ideas. Dr. Jumper, thanks for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. Great. Signing off from RSNA 2016, this is Brian Casey.